Happy Easter tide, friends. I hope that you're well <clears throat> and that your spirit could get caught up in the already and not yetness of this Holy Week and Resurrection Sunday. Easter is my favorite day of the church calendar. And yet this year, while all of it's still good and right and true, it felt different. I kind of wonder if the fullness of Easter this year will only feel accomplished once we are together again. I felt drawn today to two different psalms that actually share the exact same five verses, which can happen from time to time in the psalms. Um, there, are verse, there are psalms 57 and 108. I'm going to read a brief section here, but I'll let you follow up with the rest on your own if you'd like. They're great. Starting at Psalm 57 verse 8 and Psalm 108 verse 5, this is what we find. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make melody. Awake, my soul. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. And it goes on. I'm not exactly sure where my love of these particular lyrics came from. They reek of morning people, which I am not. I'm also not a night person. Is it possible not to be both, not to be either? <laughs> the closest I get to being a morning person is are on the Sunday mornings that I preach and I try to get up early to get my heart and spirit and body present. And that doesn't roll around too often. It's hard enough when it does. I'm not very good at it. I will awaken the dawn. And yet I get why you would like mornings. I would like to be a morning person. They're still, they're quiet. I don't have kids and I've heard that that can change things, but mornings at least have some potential. That before the chaos of the day begins, they're an opportunity to orient ourselves to something other than ourselves and something other than the tyranny of the urgent that will press in from every side in a matter of hours to minutes. I will awake the dawn. And so that line to me isn't perhaps as literal as I would maybe like it to be. But the way those words are lived out for me are in a little bit of a different way. For me, they point to attentiveness, to attention. I will awake the dawn. In other words, I'm watching for you, Lord. I'm waiting for you, Jesus. I'm listening for you, Spirit. And he will come. If I only awake the dawn, when from the second I get up, you've got my attention. I'm giving you control. You're in the changing of diapers, in the conversations with moody teenagers, in the frustrations with a spouse, or in the longing for one in the fear of job loss, or in the unrelenting essential one. I will awake the dawn. 